Welcome to the Wayward Ornithopter's top 10 tips for video footage with the Parrot Bebop and Bebop 2 drones. I'm not an expert, this is just what I've learnt from experience and from much more expert people out there on the internet. I hope you find it useful. Tip 1 is just to check the lens. Make sure that it's not scratched and it's not got mud spots or dirt on it before you set off flying. Then put the lens cap back on to keep it clean. My second tip is to check the drone. A lot of people complain about a jelly or jello effect and that's caused by vibration of the drone that the camera can't compensate for. And that's either loose or damaged propellers. So check that they're seated right, check that they're not damaged. And if they do need reseating, reseat them. The other thing is to check for any cracks or damage to the chassis of the drone. If it is damaged, you need to replace that damaged part. Tip three is to fly smoothly. As was covered in the video about pre-flight checks, the maximum inclination, the speed of the drone, and the maximum inclination speed, the speed at which it accelerates and decelerates, should be as low as possible to give you nice smooth movements forward, backwards and sideways. Your altitude and distance need to be close enough to your target, whilst maintaining safety, um, and not so far away that your subject is a dot on the horizon. And your climb and your rotation speed should also be set low. The next tip is about the image settings within your free flight app. As I've touched on before, you can adjust the contrast with the slider on the left and the brightness with the slider on the right. And you can also use the presets in conjunction with those sliders from the left auto white balance, artificial light, currently selected bright sunlight, cloudy weather or flashing lights. And it can be worth doing trial and error if you have the luxury. Take a planned flight using Free Flight 3's flight plan so you've got a set route, film it, then check your footage and if necessary adjust the image settings to run the flight again to get the footage you really want. Tip 6 is to plan your flight properly. Think about the camera angles, where you want to fly from, the altitude and distance that you are from your target. Wherever you can, using flight plan within Free Flight 3 gives you the best option of running a flight and then fine tuning it, whether that's the image settings as in the previous tip, or moving the point of interest around, making sure that the height of the point of interest and where the camera is pointing is really where you want it, and maybe even adjusting the height of the drone or its placement for certain shots to make sure you get the angles and the pictures that you really want. Tip seven is about the weather, um, and unless you're a weather god, which would be handy, Try and shoot the video you want on bright sunny days where you get crisp clear images. If it's an overcast day, the pictures will not be as good. So if it's a particular scene that you want to film, it's sometimes worth waiting for a day when the weather is how you want it to get the footage you really need. Tip 8 is about keeping the camera centred. This is a design issue on the Bebop that's a bit of an annoyance, but as you'll see that I pan left, the camera is looking through the far left of its fisheye range and you can see shearing at the sides of the picture. This is best fixed if you have a sky controller, just press the centre camera button. If you're on a smart device, just do it manually and make sure the camera is looking straight ahead. The ninth tip is to edit your footage. Whatever software you use, Mac or PC or even the online tools with YouTube and some free online things, it's often worth taking the time to cut out the boring bits or perhaps fast forward through them, to zoom in and crop out elements of the footage so that that beautiful castle with a power station or a kid pulling faces in the background isn't visible. It really is worth taking the time. My final tip is when you are editing your videos, take some still photos mid-flight, just hit the camera button and you'll find that the stills are usually of much better quality than the moving footage at which point you can just edit them into shot and make the picture look an awful lot better. Well I hope you found at least a few of those tips helpful. Um, if you did, 
feel free to click on like and if you haven't already subscribed please do and meanwhile happy flying.